Hello everyone, this is Ron from Hitech Legion and this is an Icy Dock Full Metal Quad Bay 2.5 inch hard drive and SSD backplane cage. These actually come in two versions. One is the MB994SP-4S which we have previously reviewed about uh, more than a year ago now. But this is the new version called the MB994SP-4SB-1. So that is the difference the, in between the names. The regular one is the 4S while this is the 4SB-1 which um, lacks the SAS hard drive functionality of the previous 4S version. But what it does gain is that uh, it only requires a single Molex connector and it gains fan control option in the rear. It uh, has a toggle switch for the fan while the uh, Dash 4S version does not have options to um, not use the fan, so it's, that one's always spinning. And of course the difference between that, uh, they're pretty much the same construction. You can see, uh, let me just finish your back, you can see a breakdown of what their, their features in comparison uh, to each other. You can see the host interface, just had an SAS, while the uh, their build is pretty much the same. They're made from aluminum and SECC, so they're very solid construction. And uh, they both, of course, support SATA 6 or SATA 3, some would say. I just use SATA 6 because it's uh, it avoids confusion. You know, that's the just I'll, from now on, I'll just refer to it as the latest generation of SATA, uh, third generation SATA drives. So, and um, their dimensions are equally the same. You have the same weight and package contents. And uh, here at the bottom, you can see the quick hard drive installation. They both use the IC Doc uh, Easy Slide Mini Tray. Uh, I forgot what the uh, MB99 something. Uh, the IC Doc uses these names for for each of their product, but the uh, the 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 quick name for these is the Easy Slide Mini Tray, and they are actually uh, swappable with. Uh, both MB994SB-4S versions and the MB994SB-4SB-1 and other uh, IC Dock backplane cages that support the Easy Slide Mini Tray. I think there's about the four more in there for the NAS devices and, and other uh, enclosures, internal and external enclosures. And uh, here at the top, you can see what the cooling system is like for the 4S, which has, uh, you can see, as I mentioned, two MOLUS connectors and a single modus collector and a fan toggle switch in the top of the 4SB-1 uh, version. Since uh, the high RPM drives like SAS drives, they require a lot more power so that you need two SATA cables in there and they, that's why there's also cooling since uh, faster spinning hard drive, 10,000 RPM hard drive, uh, spinning hard drives are, you know, generate a lot more heat and power than SSD drives which are low power and uh, basically have no moving uh, parts. So. Before uh, we move on, let's just start opening the package and see what the MB994SB-4SB-1 full metal quad bay 2.5 inch hard drive and SSD backlink cage looks like. And here is all um, IC Dock products. It comes with the uh, in a bubble wrap packaging. You have the documentation. It's actually a gloss black and white. Um, you have the the warranty information in there, you have the device information and package contents and the installation guide. As you can see, it uh, is fairly simple to install and they don't need any words in there. You can just, uh, there's just a diagram on how to plug in all in. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And uh, pull it up, see the feature here. Uh, of course, it's a silica gel to absorb the moisture and doesn't damage the steel in there, doesn't gain rust. And you have these screws for the case and screws for the uh, Easy Slide Mini Tray, which uh, they are clearly labeled. And you can see the difference between them is that the screws for the case are have rounded edges. They both have Phillips head, screw dart, uh, Phillips head uh, screws in the end tip. But the screws for the trays all are flat head, while the screws for the case are round head. And let's pull out the ice dock. MB994SB-4SB-1 and as you can see in here it's almost identical as the Dash 4S version the difference between is of course in the rear here is the toggle switch for the fan these are a pair of 40 millimeter exhaust fans and a single Molex power connector and of course four separate SATA cables for each of the drive inside and the important thing is that it doesn't draw power if uh, it only draws as much power as it is required. So if you only have one drive installed in there, it won't draw the uh, it won't draw too much as uh, compared to when you have when you have a fully populated uh, um, drive cage in here. And as for the form factor, just uh, let me just show it quickly. It's exactly the same 
as a five and a quarter inch optical device, except a little bit shorter. And this is a DVD drive here. Let me just show you the alignment in there. They have their mounting holes aligned. Here in the rear, it's a little bit shorter. So it should fit in most system builds, especially uh, portable RAID 5 builds. It comes in really handy. And here at the bottom, just plain. And the top, you have the uh, IC doc uh, diagram of the rear connectors. And serial number here in the bottom. And here, of course, is the Easy Slide Mini Tray. I'm just show you how to open it up. See the latch right here, just pull it to the left side. You know, see they're all solid uh, steel, steel body, and the uh, steel and aluminum here for the Easy Slide Mini Tray. Also, they're quite heavy, see there? But of course, they're also durable and they absorb uh, more heat than plastic. So, uh, although I'm not really concerned because SSD drives don't really generate heat. And this is, of course, a third generation SSD. And just to show you how to install something in there, all you need to do is slide it in place. Make sure that the rear, you can see there, it's not, uh, the rear connectors are indeed facing the rear, so you can plug it in. And then, of course, secure, uh, you can see the bottom part, the mounting holes for the drive. The bottom should align with the uh, tray itself and then secure it in place. I don't need to show it to you, of course, you can understand what it will, how that will work. And to install it, simply slide it back in. But of course, this is just, uh, you can't slide it in with the front lock uh, in lock position. You have to unlock it first. Let me just, let me put it in lock position again, just to show you that it will not go in if it's in lock position. So, you just unlock that and how easy it is to slide it in place. And then, of course, just like that.